hey guys welcome to coding simplified and today our aim is to print the post order traversal in a binary tree so basically we did this uh, using recursion in our previous tutorial where we implemented the post order but here our aim is to not using recursion but using something else so basically we'll solve this using using two stacks so what is post order so in post order basically first we print the left then we print the right and then we print that node itself right so basically if you start from here first it will go uh, this is root so first it will go left then it will go right so first it left then again left and now left is null now it will go right so right is null and then it will print 2 so this is 2 now uh, now it, now this is 7 so left is covered so now it will go right so again 6 will go in left and now it will go left and right so this is so both are null so it will print first 5 now it will go in right so it will print 11 and then it will print 6 so as you can see 2 5 11 6 and then it will print 7 because we have covered both left and right now we have covered all left of this 2 but we haven't covered right so we need to go right so then it will go uh, 5 again it will go 9 then it will print 4 so here it will print 4 then it will print 9 then it will print 2 5 and then it will print 2 at the last right so this is how uh, we do the post order so now let's see how we can do it using two stacks so basically if you see that my ultimate aim is to print this one right so uh, what we can do that if we if we if we create the one stack which have in this order like if 2 is here if 5 is here if 9 is here and at the last I will keep on popping out the element and I will print that so that will give me the answer right so my aim is to create this stack uh, in this order so basically 2 will be here 5 will be here so this 2 will be at the topmost then 5 and then 11 and then we will keep popping out each element until we have the stack size is greater than 0 right so what I will do for it that first I will put the root node in this stack right and after that I will say that pop this L, pop this uh, one and then put into this one stack and first you put the left node you check that if it has the left node so put the uh, left node in this and then you check the right node right so why it is because we know that first it will print because my aim is to uh, have the this this node at this at this position right so you can see here that first I pop out the 2 and then I inserted the 2 here and 5 here right so uh, so in next position this 5 will check that if it has any uh, left node or right node and then it will insert here and it will pop out and it will insert the second stack so it will be something like this because 5 has only right node so 9 will be inserted here again now 9 is, 9 is at the top position so it will add 4 and it will push into second stack right so as you can see we are preparing this one so this 2 was here 5 is here 9 is here now 4 is at the top so 4 will be pop out and 4 will come here at this stack now 7 so 7 has again the left and right node this 7 has the left and right node so first it will add the first it will push the uh, 2 and then it will push the 6 and 7 will push into second stack now it will again pop the 6 and 6 will be 6 will come here and then it will add 5 and 11 in the stack right 5 and 11 now similarly for the 11 so 11 has not any right and left node so it will simply pop out from here and it will add into second stack now same for the 5 because 5 has not any left and right so it will pop here and it will push into this one now this 2 so uh, this 2 again has not any left and right so it will add into this stack so this 2 is basically this one so now we have so now what I will do, I will pop out, uh, I will pop uh, then 2, then 5, then 11, then 6 and I will keep on printing the element until we have a stack size greater than 0. Right. So by this way, we will print the post order 
सो नाउ लेट सी द प्रोग्राम दैट हाउ इट इज वर्किंग सो बेसिकली वी आर वी आर डूइंग वी आर पासिंग ए रूट एंड वी हैव क्रिएटेड अ फंक्शन पोस्ट ऑर्डर यूजिंग टू स्टेक्स सो हेयर इफ यू सी सो हेयर आई एम पासिंग द रूट नोड बेसिकली इन द नोड एंड आई एम चेकिंग दैट इफ नोड इक्व टू नल दैन रिटर्न बिकॉज वी नीड नॉट टू प्रिंट एनी थिंग नाउ वी आर क्रिएटिंग टू स्टैक्स स्टैक एस वन एन एच स्टैक एस टू एंड वेर आई एम सींग दैट माई ईच एलिमेंट वुड व्यू ऑफ टाइप नोड राइट एंड एंड सो गाइज यू कैन ऑल्सो इम्प्लीमेंट योर स्टैक बट हेयर आई एम यूजिंग दी जावा लाइब्रेरी एंड स्टैक सो फर्स्ट टाइम पुशिंग द फर्स्ट एलिमेंट एज डिस्कस्ड इन दी स्टैक वन नाउ एम चेकिंग दैट अंटिल एस एस वन डोट साइज इज ग्रेटर दैन जीरो सो फर्स्ट यू पॉप द आइटम दैन यू फर्स्ट पुस द लेफ्ट वन ऑफ दिस इफ इट इज नॉट नल then you push the right node if it is not null and then you push the and then you push the that element into the second stack right that that what we discussed now this now again we pop the item again we push the left one then right one and then we push that item into second one so when you have the so when you are done with the stack 1 then simply you can do that while s dot size is greater than 0 and then pop the item and then print all the element right so this is how you can print your post order using two stacks so if you run the program so you will see you have clearly print the items 25164952 which is post order right so that's it guys for this tutorial and the complexity of this program is big of n because uh, because first we are traversing the binary tree at once and then we have the space complexity of two stacks so thanks guys and if you have liked the video then please like it and please subscribe the channel and please comment that if you have got your answer or not thank you